means. So today I am doing probably my most requested video of the moment and it is how I get my big sexy voluminous curls that I always have in like 99% of my videos. Literally a lot of videos I post are Instagram pictures. Someone usually asks me about my hair, how I did it, um, or just compliments me on it. So I really thank you guys that you guys like how I do it. This isn't a sponsored video. I paid for everything that I'm using in this video and I swear by it, this has kind of been my signature hair look for the past few years, if you guys will know. So what I use is the Sea-Doo Revolution Flat Iron. I purchased mine from Follica. This is actually my second one. I have used this flat iron for curling my hair for a good three or four years now. I prefer it to a GHD because the plates are a lot smoother and more slippery. So when curling your hair, the flat iron doesn't snap at all. Okay, so this style works better the second day after I've washed my hair, but after sleeping on it, it gets a little flat, so I muff it up with the cool setting on my blow dryer, and then just gently brush it to smooth it out for more volume. I start by sectioning off my longest layer of hair, which is my bottom layer, and clipping the rest up, and then this is where the magic happens. With my flat iron, I flip it over one time, taking about a one inch section, and then I just pull it through to the end of the strand like you normally would. You really wanna make sure you get the tip of your hair in, otherwise your curl will be weird. And then what I do that is different to most people is I roll it back up on itself, kind of like you would do with a curling iron. This just gives the perfect ribbon curl. I hold it for about five to 10 seconds, and then I let it go, and you have this beautiful curl. Okay, let me do it in slow-mo. I'm taking the flat iron, flipping it over one time, dragging it through to the ends of my hair, where I will then roll it back up on itself and hold it for five to 10 seconds till the hair is heated through and then let it go. Super easy, right? I told you guys. So I'm literally doing the exact same thing on the other side of my head. I just always like to make sure that I'm doing all the curls away from my face. I personally prefer that look. So flip it over, roll it up, fold it, let it go. No secret here. Okay, so I'm gonna speed this up because it gets old real fast. The bottom section, I'm just doing the exact same thing to the rest of it. It takes me about 25 to 30 minutes to do my whole hair, which seems like a long time, but then I get about three to four days out of these curls. They just drop and I have to touch them up. And if you see my lips moving, it's because I was listening to the new Beyonce CD as I was doing my hair and I was feeling it. Also, make sure you guys check the description bar because I've answered a few FAQs about my hair and my extensions and everything that might be of interest to some of you. So it should look a little something like this when you're done with your bottom layers. And then onto the middle section, which is the most important section for me because the shorter layers are where you get the bulk of your volume and can make your hair really big. So I flip the flat iron and do the same thing, but I leave about an inch of hair out at the bottom before rolling up. And I find that gives me more curl closer to the root of the hair, which in turn adds more volume and makes your hair super big and full without having to tease or back comb. So here in slow-mo, you can see I'm leaving just about an inch at the bottom before rolling up, just so the curl can start a little bit higher up on the hair shaft because before I'm starting the curls lower down. For the top layer, we're just going back to basics and dragging the flat iron down to the tip of the hair before rolling up like we did on the bottom section. Make sure you're going away from your face, but this will just sit nicely over all that volume that we created in the middle section. For the very top side sweat portion of my hair at the front, I like to use a roller. I basically roll it down. This is from a set of hot rollers, but I haven't put heat on it. And I clip it and leave it in for about 10 minutes while I'm getting ready. And then I will just basically curl away from my face again, just for the top shorter layers. Same old, same old. When I let the roller out, it gives me a lot of lift at the root without having really to use heat, and it shapes it really nicely at the front. So here I'm just touching up, just adding slightly more definition and curl to that front part, but making sure I keep the lift at the root to give you that nice voluminous effect all over. And then I'm just adding finishing touches, fluffing it up, gently brushing through for more volume, barely touching the hair at all though because you don't want to loosen the curls. I don't like to use hairspray on my extensions so that's why I leave them pretty tight so they can just drop naturally. So I hope you enjoyed that 
tutorial. I hope it was informative enough to show you what I do to my hair. I'm not super pedantic about it. I'm not really anal about every piece being curled, but that is how I do it every time. Holiday hair or special occasion hair, if you're not extra like me and don't want to wear it 24 seven. But yeah, I hope this helped. And if you have any more questions about my hair, about extensions, about how I do it, if you can't get the hang of it, then just put them in the comments below and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.